Now in this particular example, we are dealing with a strong acid. This time it is diluted and this acid, which is a monoprotic acid, that means it can only release one proton, has a concentration of 4.83 times 10 to the minus 9 mole per cubic decimeter. So it's a very dilute acid uh, solution. And we want to find out what is the pH of this solution. Now, first of all, before we do anything, let's uh, remind ourselves that for an acid, the pH must be smaller than 7, because that is the definition of an acid, pH smaller than 7. Okay, so what's happening? We have the acid, and because it is a strong acid, it almost totally dissociates, and I indicate that with the with this um, uh, double arrow, which is more or less just one arrow. So we produce a proton plus the conjugated base, which is this A minus here. And um, we said that um, we can use our definition of pH. pH equals the negative log to the base of 10 of the proton concentration. Now, when we used to work with concentrated acids, we just simply said that the proton concentration that we have is approximately the concentration of the acid because the acid will almost totally dissociate. And for each mole of acid that we have, we will generate one mole of protons. Now, what would happen if we just simply use this assumption for our calculation? So we could do the pH. pH equals negative logarithm of, and in this case, we use the uh, acid concentration. So 4.83 times 10 to the minus 9. And we need to be mindful. Again, uh, it needs to be in the correct unit. So which would be mole decimeter to the minus 3 or mole per liter or sometimes you also see this as a capital M. Only then we can use it, but that is the unit that we have here. So we can calculate the pH and we can put that into the calculator and we would get a pH of 8.316. But wait a moment, something is not right here. We said our acid needs to be smaller than 7 and we now get a pH of 8.3, which would mean that this is basic. Did our acid by miracle turn into a base? Something is not right. So very clearly this approach does not work. Where did we go wrong? Well, we went wrong by just simply assuming that our proton concentration in this solution is equal to the acid uh, solution. Because remember, we are working with water. And water is also an acid and it produces protons and the corresponding base. So we have water protons and I do a W here, and we have acid protons, and I do it as acid here. And because our solution is so dilute, we need to add them together. They make up the total protein, proton concentration. So H plus total is the sum of the concentration of the water protons 
and I should say here the concentration of it, plus the protons delivered by the acid. Now, how big is the concentration of protons in water? That is 1 times 10 to the minus 7 mole per decimeter cubed. And our acid, that was the value that we had previously, that would be 4.83 times 10 to the minus 9. And now we can do our pH. So we do pH equals negative log to the base of 10. But we do that for the total proton concentration. So that would be negative log of 10. And we use the water 1 times 10 to the minus 7 plus 4.83 times 10 to the minus 9. And they are all in the same unit, mole decimeter to the minus 3. And now we can calculate that and can put this into the calculator. And we would get a pH of 6.98. So just a little bit under the pH of 7. And now this makes sense because that is still acidic. So when we are dealing with a diluted acid, like this one here, that we have very diluted, uh, we need to take the protons from the water into account. When do we talk about diluted? I would probably argue that uh, any concentration that is smaller than 1 times 10 to the minus 5 mole decimeter to the minus 3, in this case, we would need to take the water proton concentration into account. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.